Hey guys, it's Goofy Dude Plays here, and today I will be doing a tutorial on how to make an unturned server, dedicated unturned server. Now, when I say dedicated, I don't mean like it lasts forever. I don't, I, I don't mean like that stuff. So I'm gonna show you how to make a dedicated server. Not that I'm not saying that it's made to last forever, like it just stays 24/7. It just, I don't know how to explain it, but. So I just try to make an unturned server. First thing you do is you need to get Steam and download Unturned. It's free to play at the moment, but I don't think it's in early access anymore. I don't think it's in early beta. I don't think it's in early access anymore, I'm pretty sure. So I'm gonna sign into my Steam account. Oh, that's fine. I don't like remembering my password. Oh, okay, figure. I forgot the problem. Sorry. Okay. So once you're logged into Steam, give it a second to log in. And then you're gonna get this, right? First, you wanna go download Unturned. I think it's you have to pay for. I'm not sure. Coming down in the description. Yeah, Unturned is still free to play. So go and get Unturned, it's free to play. It's a really awesome game, I mean... It's still in early access, yeah. But it's in 3.0 now, it's 3.14, it's a really good game. So once you got the game, you want to right click Unturned, and you want to click Properties, go to Local Files, and click Browse Local Files. And then I'm going to leave my on chart server because I don't make a server anymore. But so you're gonna have something like this unless you actually fully. You, first, you have to actually launch the game. If you if you just keep, if you don't launch the game and just start the server, it will not work. It will just play the unturned music and it won't make a server. So you gotta make a server. I'm gonna right click unturn. Click create shortcut. Name it shortcut whatever you want, name it server. Don't run it. You wanna right click it and click properties. Alright, once you're here, you make sure you add these two colons at the, the ends here. You wanna click space after the colon and type in dash batch mode dash no graphics. That's for no graphics. In space plus and there are three different types of server I don't know the other one but I know in, I know the insecure server the secure server I think it's local server I think here are the here are the three differences a secure server is v evolve anti-cheat or VAC protected insecure servers are non VAC or or not involve anti-cheat secure so hackers can join and I think it's local server I think I don't know tell you guys in the description but if local server I think only are only broadcast it to the LAN so if you have a friend that wants to join you and nobody else without having a whitelist or anything like that none of that difficult stuff you first your friend has to go connect to your Wi-Fi or Ethernet whatever you guys use and then it will only broadcast to the Wi-Fi network or Ethernet you are currently on. My best choice will be secure server unless you're posting a local server to your only local network. For this tutorial purposes only, I'm gonna do secure server, which is what I always do anyway. And you'll put a slash without a space and name the folder. I'm gonna name it my same Minecraft server name, Blockade Craft. Alright, so then click apply and okay. And you want to right click it and click run as administrator. You really don't have to, but if you, but it's just the best thing to do. If you did not run, if if if, if you did everything successfully, you should get this one though. If if you do not run the game, it will, it won't, this one will pop up. You want to give it a sec. Don't close it. Don't close it. Wait until it says. Hold on. Give it a sec to fully make the server files and everything.
so I'll be right back when this is done. Alright. If done six if as you can see it's done right here, it should say set in break pad, mini dump, app ID, and just say some random numbers. What this says that you want to type in shut down. Alright, so now you're gonna have a few now you're gonna have another folder. It's gonna see this it's gonna be called servers. Open that folder up and go to your server folder. Go to server again and you see this commands.dat commands.dat you want to open this with something you open those sublon text first thing you want to do is type in port the default port is 27015 and that's what I recommend if you want to use the external port that's up to you but the, I recommend using 27015 the next one is name it's not required, but if, if you want, but if you don't put a name, it's just gonna say unturned on whatever map it is. So I'll name this my server name. And I recommend putting the rules and everything. Don't put slashes or anything. It's gonna try to add color. Yes, this PMP. Map. This is also important. If you if you don't choose a map, it might just choose the default, which is PEI, I think. So uh, for this tour, I'm I'm gonna do it in Washington. I think that is well. Yeah. Now there are other external ones. If you're gonna do a PVP server, you're gonna type in PVP. If you're gonna do a PVE server, you're gonna do PVE. For me, I'm doing PVP server. What else are there? Um, sync. I'm not sure what this does. If you guys do know what sync does, tell me in the, in the description. I mean, in the comment section. I really want to know what sync does. I think it's like the sync with the Steam and Unturned server. I don't know. There is, um, I think it's a loadout. That is pretty confusing to me. I don't know how to do loadout. These are just the default ones. You can choose other ones. The max players, I think it's... You know, it's a player limit. It sounds weird, I know. So, the default player limit is 8. No one, no one wants a low player server. Be aware that the more players you have, the higher the player's ping and the server usage you will do. So, I'm gonna do about 15 because I used to have a lot of players on this server. Once you got that, if in the description, I will have a link to all the commands. There's also a welcome. And then you can just type in welcome and then you add colors like I don't know I'm just gonna do welcome so now there actually is a, pl a, a character limit so I'm gonna put like all this it's not gonna have it all in there so there is a player limit so I'm gonna, I mean a character limit so I'm going Okay. Two more again too. And like I said in the description will be a list of commands you can add. Such as owner. Now I'm gonna add my name just going for do plays. Alright, so once you're done with that, you can click save it. And you want to go back to and you want to start your server up. This time it will, might be quicker. As you can see, I'm actually not in owner yet, but so as you can see, it, it, it finally loaded real quicker. And for some reason, the player limit is not up. So hold on. What players? Wait. I want to look for a player limit. Max players. Okay. Don't ever do. Don't ever just force close your like I did. See how force closed my server? Don't do that. It's just not gonna do anything. I mean, it's just probably it's gonna. It's not gonna save it probably. It's, it's max players. Do 15. Sorry guys, I totally did the wrong thing. I I I don't know many of these commands. Alright, so I'll start my server up. It will load quicker. 
Alright, so do not close this, okay? If you close this, it will, you will force shut, it will shut down the server. So we can go and close that out. And let's go and log into our unturned server. I will have to set this to, I think, windowed. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and make this window for you guys, sorry. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I just want a window, you know, just to be sure. Alright, so as you can see, we're on our unturned. If you wanna click play, I recommend just connecting, which is, by default, it's local host in the port you just typed in. If you do have a password, you can just type in the config, you to have a password, and it's a password you want. For me, I have no password. So you click connect, and it will, it will successfully, if, if successfully done, it will just say loaded. So there's my server, there's my server name, VSC secure, as you can see we are logged on. To admin people, which I will show you right now, we're actually after something, but. So, if... Now, many people can connect also by typing in their lo to a local IP address, which is not by default, should be 192.168. and then whatever. This is not, you can leave this public, it really doesn't matter. See, I can also connect through that, that's basically the same thing as local host. Alright, as you can see. Now, I will, I'm not going to show you port forwarding because that takes quite some time. But if you do know how to port four, depending on how, what router you have, will depend on what you have. So I'm gonna type in my IP address. Um, I forgot my IP address. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. Let me get my IP address. All right. Uh, sorry, I have to get my IP address. So I port forwarded correctly, so I can just type in my I public IP address, and I successfully log in. I am a gold butt. So yeah, um, that's how you do it. If you want, you can go look up how to port forward. There are many different ways to port forward. One is using uTorrent. I don't like that way. I mean, I don't know if that's even working. I don't know if that really works, but I don't know. You can actually, another way is you can actually port forward, like successfully port forward it. Depending on our router, will depend on whether port forwarding will be hard or easy. Will work or will not work. So I do not have the same router as you guys. I have Verizon. You might, that's pretty rare. People rarely have that. But so depending on your router, will depend on how to port forward. Now to get your actually no, yeah that'll be too hard. But so that is how you. Um, as you can see, I joined a couple times here. So that is how you um, make an unturned surfer. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace out.